I'm exhausted and frustrated that we're repeating this. Like, we have the solutions. We're repeating them over and over and over again. Delegates of the FIC, a union representing 80,000 healthcare professionals in Quebec, have voted in favor of the agreement in principle struck with the government Tuesday. The union is now one step closer to striking a new collective agreement after 16 months of negotiations and eight strike days. The deal covers topics like overtime, training, the gradual elimination of the use of independent labor, a 17.4 percent salary increase, along with other things. But member of the Quebec Nurses Association, a nursing professor at Université de Montréal, Nathalie Stake doucet says the devil is in the details. It appears that the agreement won a very weak majority at the, uh, at the recent National Assembly of the FIC. And so I'm wondering whether the details and the applications of those broad strokes, are they really guaranteed in the language of the agreement? Alexandre Majinski, board member at the Quebec Nurses Association, says he's skeptical about the proposed changes. There is no concrete pathway to establish ratios, for example. There's no concrete moves that they're going to make in ending forced overtime. Stake Doucet says the core issue of Quebec's health care system is the province not being able to retain nurses. This agreement has to focus on nurse retention. Uh, we are losing a lot of nurses because of the working conditions right now. Quebec has never had so many registered nurses, and yes, we're talking about a nursing shortage. So it's not really a shortage of nurses, it's a shortage of decent working conditions under which nurses are willing to work. And with a 17.4 percent salary increase, that's still below the national average, says Stake Doucet. It seems like a lot, but it, Quebec has the lowest paid nurses by far in all of Canada. And so, um, for example, the, the second lowest paid wages for, for a nurse just beginning her career is about $5 an hour difference. The FIC members will have from April 10th to the 12th to vote on the agreement and decide whether or not they accept the deal. That's all just to say that it's not set in stone yet. And regardless what goes on with this collective agreement, there's still going to be a lot that needs to be done to address all the issues in our healthcare system. In Montreal, Sudarasi, City News.